Okay, so I have a 48, 49 signal. And what I've been doing is I've just been cherry picking today. I uh, decided on my machine that I would run a discrimination of about 37 up and then uh, notched everything out except for 40 to 55. So I've just been digging. I've been really trying to dig like from 44 to about 54. This one's a 48.49. And I do believe we got gold, baby. Look at that. Sorry, I'm on my cell phone. My GoPro died on me. I mean, this thing looks smushed like crazy, but. Let me clean it up a little bit. Let's see what it is. Ah, uh, heartbreaker. It's plated. Man, I thought I had one. Oh well, on to the hunt. Okay. <laughs> Seems like all I do is film on my phone anymore. I don't know what's up with these GoPros, but. Man, my screen freezes and then my battery's dead. I feel like I don't even have it going that long, but. So, pretty sure I got gold here. Okay, I did it. Let's see if you can see that. Well, it's kind of dark. I don't know if that's gold or not. Yeah, it's kind of light. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be gold. But I did get a ring. Okay, sorry for all the technical difficulties. Man, I couldn't, I couldn't get any of my cameras to work today. I got cut off there when I was trying to do their big reveal on that ring. My, my GoPro was freezing. I don't know what the deal is. It gets like a black line across it. About ready to throw that thing in the garbage. If somebody knows how to fix that, comment below. <clears throat> but anyways, I was just digging today everything from foil to nickel. And I discriminated everything else out. So like 40 to 55. As you can see, I got a pile of nickels, tons of foil, but that's, that's where most of the gold is. Most of it's in the foil tones. You know, women, they tend to have more jewelry and because their fingers are smaller, they tend to have smaller gold than men. So the majority of the rings are probably going to be in the foil. So I decided today I'm just getting gold. <laughs> it's going to happen. So this is like a three hour hunt. You can see I did get some pull tabs, but a lot of these are actually just the beaver tails or like broken pieces of, uh, you know, foil or uh, pull tabs. Got a couple of glue tubes, watch gear. Here's that harsh stopper ring. Man, I really thought that was gonna be gold. And then this little guy I got him at right at dark, and so I couldn't see. I stuck my finger in the ring, in the dark. It was the right tone. I thought, oh my gosh, I did it. I got, <laughs> I got gold, but nope. So here's the star. Star of the day right there. So now the moment of truth. Is it gold? Well, we're going to do a little acid test and find out. Okay, well, my little rub didn't show any copper or anything underneath. This isn't a marked ring. It is pretty small, and I find a lot of these little 10K rings are just about never marked. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit this with some 10K acid, one of the lines, and if it disappears, then it's not gold. Oh, look at that. So it passes 10K. 
Well, let's see if we got 14k. Wouldn't that be nice? What? Are you kidding me? Hold on one sec. <laughs> Let me get out my 18k acid. Okay. Back. Did you, you see I made a little mark already? Here comes the 18k. Nope. That dissolved. So, more than likely it's 14K. I don't, I don't have a tester in the middle. Usually they're not any of those weird ones, but I do, I do have a bracelet that's 12K, so that's kind of a weird one. So, we did it. We got gold, cherry picking. I didn't have any of my silver tones on. Okay, let's get away in on this bad boy well, looks like one gram so not bad one gram 14k gold this isn't a precise scale so could be a little more than a gram but probably not much <laughs> all right so i know merrill's doing fill the box with silver i was trying to do fill the bowl with gold so here's another one Hey, if you like this video, subscribe. In the morning, I'm headed to Washington. I'm gonna do some beach hunting for a week. So make sure you subscribe so you can get notified when those gold rings I find on the beach 